Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this needle felted sheet. So I've only done needle felting like four times before this. My mom got this pack off of Amazon and I was really excited to try it out. So let's open it up and see what we get inside. So the first thing that I'm looking at here is this really neat fluffy yarn. We also get some pink and yellow needle felting wool a packet of string eyes and something else. And then we also get a large quantity of this cream wool, along with some instructions that are only in Japanese. This pack came with two different sets of instructions. One is for beginners with needle felting. It gives you the basic rundown on how to do needle felting in general. The other set of instructions are just how to make the sheet. So using a translator app on my phone that's less than perfect, I was able to sort of get an idea of what I was supposed to be doing. I marked with some pink pen what I was supposed to be doing on the instructions in English so that way I wouldn't have to keep going back and translating it. I would just like to point out that this pack does not come with the other necessities for needle felting like the needles and the foam pad. So with starting the project, you're going to use the large amount of cream wool and using the little measuring tool at the bottom of the instructions, I measured the quantity that they listed in the instructions. I cut a large piece for the body and a smaller piece for the head. So following the instructions, I took the piece for the body and tightly rolled it up into an oval shape and then started poking it with my needle felting needle. Once I was done making the body, I used the same process to make the head on a much smaller and circular scale. I did make about a thumb size imprint on either side of the circle as a spot for the eyes to go. According to the instructions, to make the ears, you take a piece of cardstock and then make it into a teardrop shape as kind of like a pattern for the needle felting wool to go. You place the wool inside of the paper and then use the needle to kind of shape it inside the paper. So I made two ears and then attached them to the head. I then put some pink wool into the ears. I then used more of the pink wool to make the nose. Next, according to the instructions, we're supposed to take some of this brown string that came in this little pack and thread it through the sheep's head to make a mouth and outline the nose. I found this part a little tricky because every time I would go to sew the piece in, it would kind of just sink into the wool and you couldn't see it. So I had to do a couple layers to make it work. So here is the mouth and nose completely done. Next, I used a different tool to make larger holes in the head where you're going to put the eyes. At this point, my camera died, so I took the liberty to put the head onto the body. For the next part, you are supposed to take some more of the cream wool and make it into a tube shape. You're supposed to make four of these, and these will be the legs. You don't needle felt the top portion of the leg because you will need that soft, non-poked wool to attach it to the sheep. Mm -hmm. 
Next, according to the instructions, we're supposed to use this super neat yarn and attach it to the base of the neck. You then go around the head. This is going to be the sheep's wool. Once you've gone all the way around the head, you slowly work back doing a circular motion around the body. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. I'm absolutely loving this sheep. The only thing it's missing now is its tail. The tail is the same principle as one of the legs, just on a much tiny scale. And here we go. We now have an adorable little kneaded felted sheep. I really suggest this product because it was a lot of fun to make and ended up actually looking really cute and really close to the picture. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to check out my other videos.